The next concept that we need to discuss in our discussion of electrical circuits is the concept of voltage. Now before we begin discussing what voltage is, I want to go back and do a review and talk about what it means to measure elevations on the earth or terrestrial elevations because this will help us in our understanding at least uh, in an early level of what voltage is. Terrestrial elevations are measures of the distance between two points on Earth. Now, a terrestrial elevation is the, di the vertical distance between these two points. So, if on Earth, if we're going to measure elevations, we, we need to have a, you know, between these two points. Well, often on Earth, the terrestrial elevations are measured to a, the, the, the same reference point all the time, and that is the, the elevation of sea level because the the ocean's a convenient reference cuz there's not, you know, you're always fairly close to the ocean no matter where you are on earth. And of course the sea levels rise and fall so uh, with the tides and such. So we use a, a a number called the mean sea level. So for ex an example, if you're talking about the elevation of Nashville, Tennessee. The elevation of Nashville, Tennessee is roughly uh, 200 meters. Well, what does that mean? Well, if you, the elevation of Nashville is 200 meters, that is if you start at the ocean, if you were to be somewhere in the ocean, and you were to g progress to Nashville, you would have to go up vertically, you have to travel vertically, 200 meters up from the ocean to reach the the elevation of Nashville. So we said the ele elevation of Nashville is 200 meters, well that means 200 meters with respect to the mean sea level. Likewise, if you were to measure the elevation of of any town, USA, any town USA in this example is located 50 meters higher than mean sea level. That is the vertical distance between the ocean, mean sea level, and any town is 50 meters. And the last example is if you were to progress from the ocean and find your way to Death Valley in California, you would have to go down 86 meters. Leaving the level of the mean sea level at the ocean, you would progress 86 meters down to get to the floor of Death Valley. So we say the elevation of Death Valley is negative 86 meters. It's negative 86 meters above mean sea level. So since Death Valley is actually below sea level, it's a negative elevation above sea level. Well that's the way we measure elevations on Earth with respect to mean sea level. But we don't have to measure our elevations on Earth that way. What if we were to decide that all the elevations on Earth are going to be measured with respect to any town USA? We'd like to measure all elevations on Earth with respect to any town. So in that particular case, this is our our datum that we're going to use as the reference for everything. And if we were going to proceed from any town and go up to Nashville, we would have to proceed from any town up 150 meters. So if this were, if any town were the reference for measuring terrestrial elevations, we'd see the elevation of Nashville is 150 meters above any town. Likewise, if we we're going to measure the elevation of Miami with respect to any town, then we'd have to progress down 50 meters, or the elevation of, Nash of Miami would be negative 50 meters with respect to any town, and the elevation of Death Valley would be a, one, a negative 136 meters with respect to any town. So what we can do is, if we're in, in, in doing these kind of measurements, we, we could write we could create a notation that the elevation of Death Valley measured with respect to any town is going to be negative 136. So the elevation of, of Death Valley with respect to any town, Death Valley is negative 136 meters above any town USA. So if you understand that we measure terrestrial elevations with respect to mean sea level, and you understand that we don't have to, we could measure it with respect to other locations, it's just wh whatever we've chosen, then we're ready to begin our discussion of voltage. Voltage is really the energy required to make charge move. Remember that energy is the cost to do something. If charges are moving, then we're doing something, therefore energy must be expended. 
The variable for voltage is V, and the definition of voltage is uh, that V equals dW dQ. So we see that voltage is an energy, dW dQ. And what we've done with the dQ in the, in here is that voltage is actually a normalized energy. V equals dW dQ means voltage is the energy per unit charge. V equals dW dQ. Now voltage is an energy, and so obviously we can measure how big that energy is. But we also could be above something in energy, and we can be below something in energy. So voltage also has a direction. So voltage is a vector quantity. It has a magnitude and a direction. The direction of voltage is called polarity. The unit for measuring the voltage is the volt. A volt is a joule per coulomb, and it's named after an Italian physicist who lived in the 18th century. So voltage is an energy that's imparted to charge, and if charge has this energy, then it now has the potential to move. So an analogy for us to use, and our, for our hydraulic analogy, is that voltage is really, you know, if, if charge is, is water, then voltage is the elevation that you give to water so that it can flow. I mean, if we want water to flow in our pipes, what we typically do in our, in our municipalities is we create water towers and we pump water up into the water towers. We've given the water elevation. The water has been lifted up. And when it's given the opportunity, that is, the, you know, the faucet is open, the water will flow. Water wants to flow to its lowest possible point. Charge is the same way. Charge wants to flow to the lowest possible point. Now, not physically, it's not physical elevation, it's looking for its lowest possible energy level. So let's kind of continue. Let's imagine that we have four energy levels that have been defined. So we have four energy levels, and we're going to name them Nashville, Anytown, Miami, and Death Valley. Now, for whatever reason, uh, the voltage of Miami is zero volts. It is you know, it is a voltage measured with respect to some reference, and it has the same voltage as our reference. All right. Any town has a different energy level, and it's 50 volts higher in energy, 50 joules per coulomb higher than the reference. Nashville's 200 volts higher than our reference, and Death Valley is negative 86 higher than our reference. That is, it's 86 volts, 86 joules per coulomb lower than our reference. So if we were going to talk about what is the voltage of Nashville, well, we could just as equivalent say that the voltage of Nashville is 200 volts higher than Miami because Miami's at the same voltage as my reference. I know that Nashville's 200 higher than my reference, so the voltage of Nashville is 200 volts with respect to Miami. I could say what is the voltage of Nashville with respect to uh, Death Valley. And the voltage of Nashville with respect to Death Valley, we see that Nashville with referenced against Death Valley, we see there's a 286 volt difference. And so we know that Nashville is 286 volts higher than Death Valley. Or we could take that particular voltage and flip it over, and what is the voltage of Death Valley with respect to Nashville? Well, obviously, Death Valley is negative 286 volts higher. Death Valley is negative 286 volts higher than Nashville, because we know that Death Valley is actually below Nashville. And this, these last two examples, you see something very obvious. If you're looking at the voltage from Nashville to Death Valley, and the voltage from Death Valley to Nashville, you're measuring the energy between the same two points. So there is only one energy difference between Nashville and Death Valley, but you see here there's two possible ways that we can write that, that answer. We can say that it's positive 286 Nashville with respect to Death Valley, or we could say that Death Valley is negative 286 above Nashville, that is it's 286 volts below Nashville. So from this we see that voltage is much like a human. It only it has two names. There's one voltage here. It has two different names. And so with this re and with this example, we can talk about how we measure our voltages with respect to other voltages. Now one last thing I do want to point out is in this example, we said that Miami has a voltage of, of zero. It is the same voltage as our reference. Well, what is the reference? Well, on Earth, we measure use sea level as our reference. Well, in electrical circuits, we have a thing uh, that we call uh, ground. And the circuit symbol for ground looks like this. 
And the reason we call it ground is uh, the earth itself, the physical earth, has an interesting property. As you pump energy into the earth, its voltage does not change appreciably. So that is, if you were to go to any point on the earth and measure its voltage, you would find that it's always the same, pretty much no matter what you do to the earth. Well, that particular voltage we call ground. And so for us, this is our reference. Ground is the zero voltage point. So in effect, what we have is that Miami is the same voltage as ground. We see that Death Valley, of course, is negative 86 volts above ground. All right. Nashville, of course, is going to be 200 volts above ground. And so these voltages that, that, that we've been given over here on this side, these voltages are all with respect to ground all with respect to ground. So we can measure voltages that way, but often, most of the time, probably in excess of 85-90% of the time, when we're talking about voltages in our electrical circuits, we do not measure them with respect to ground. We measure them with respect to other voltages in the circuit. So a more common example would be, what is the voltage of any town with respect to Death Valley? And the voltage of any town with respect to Death Valley is going to be 136 volts. Or someone said, what's the voltage of Death Valley with respect to Nashville? And that answer would be negative 286 volts. So voltage is a relative measure. We do have an absolute reference for our voltages. It's called ground, but we don't use it a majority of the time. We always, we most of the time, reference our voltages to some other energy level in the circuit or uh, some other energy level of interest. So there are our voltages, and then we'll continue in the next videos and start using these voltages with current and power and energy, and then we will start solving practical circuits.